what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful so today i'm right here with the cf moto 450 mt uh, just saw it in the showroom and i'll try to do a detailed walk around for you there are videos out there on this bike but maybe there are others out there who want to see a detailed walk around so i'm just going to try to walk around and show you uh, a close-up uh, video shots of the bike so i'll start here from the front um so it has this factory installed windshield which is as usual too small for most people to use so definitely people there are people out there including myself who would replace this with a bigger one when we receive this bike but let's start with the headlights so as you can see really really beautiful headlights soon i'll turn it on so we can all see how it looks like and then you have the front fender which is the um installed directly under the lights and we come down to the tires and these are tubeless tires beautifully beautifully made tires and uh, you have your brake disc one disc up front just like on the cb500x and you have jj1 double piston uh, brake and you got front ABS as well spoke to wheels blacked out wheels which is really nice and you have the inflate inflation valve in the middle unlike that of the 800 MT that is slanted which makes it easy to inflate this one is right in the middle but it's not the end of the world there are many bikes including the my CB500X that come in this form, but there's enough space here to be able to use any inflator to inflate it, so that shouldn't be a big problem. But on the whole, build quality looks really, really good. Okay, reflector here, you got nice sort of mud guard here, and there's provision made for if you want to install the mud guard the lower one directly above the tire there's provision made here on, on the other side so you can easily install it and yeah we're looking at the front forks here and it's a KBY KYB sorry KYB forks which is supposed to give some very good damping and spring action and in here you have a very wide radiator stretching from here to that place you have your ABS and fluid cables running down and overall it's very very uh, an open concept which will allow a lot of wind to cool the engine and parts and there you have your exhaust pipes running from the engine telling you it's a twin cylinder and you have your horn right there so that's the horn and you have a mud guard installed from factory what many bikes are doing these days which is really really cool you don't have to go and buy extra accessories like many other top manufacturers do and you have provision made on the engine block for crash guards if it's your thing and you want to provide a bike a bit more so yeah as you can see here there are some decals with 450 MT from CF Moto, and then we have the um, turn signals, all LED, LED all around. Let's come to the engine department, and that's the engine, looking really nice and beefy. You have some plastic coverings here, rear brake fluid reservoir. You have your foot pegs. And the foot pegs are, you have rubber on top of the foot pegs, but I'm pretty sure you can take off these, this rubber so you can use just the, um, the metal grips. But when you depress the plastic, it goes in. So if you're standing on the bike, I'm sure your shoes are going to dig in to reach the metal edges. So it's going to give you some more safety. And then you can have a, the rear peg for a rear passenger nicely dumped and you also have the brake lever which looks really really solid 
and has nice grips as well. Nice looking frame overall. The bike has a very clean, clean build. Very nice frame exposed. You get your suspension over there with lots of provision for adjustment. Very, very easy, open, easy to make your adjustments. And you have your exhaust running up. Um, so when you're riding in the dirt or in water, it's better to have it raised so that you don't have mud, water, and other debris going into your um, your exhaust. And if we look at the rear tire, we got a 140, 70, rim 18, and you have a J1 single piston caliper on the, the rear. You have your ABS and your speed sensors right there, and. Um, yeah, very nice looking setup with the spoked wheels. This is not new. It's you can find it similar thing on the on many other bikes to be honest, and that just makes it easier for them to install tubeless tires. Tubeless tires are easier to fix when you have a puncture. And uh, looking at the rear provision an area for your number plate, your number light reflector, and the rear light looks very very similar or maybe even exactly the same as that on the 800 MT and this provision here made for installing of uh, rear racks if that is your thing panniers I should say and uh, you have this small carrier at the back for extra load if you need it some really nice grips, wide grips for a rear passenger if you have one. And coming to the left side of the bike, as usual, you have the chain, you have a very thick, nice looking sprocket. You have your chain cover. And um, as it's an, as it's a, an off-road bike, uh, there's a lot of it's very easy to do maintenance because most areas are really open and you don't have to take off many plastics or coverings to do any maintenance so on the left side you have your left foot peg you have your gear lever which feels very nice all very solid metals all over and the left side of the engine and if you look you can see that all the bolts and nuts used are very they look very high quality like what you find on bmws and stuff these days it's really really hard to fold bikes because everybody's up to their game in the motorcycle and car manufacturing industry because the competition is fierce so if you want to be among the best and play with the big boys you really need to come clean with high quality materials so let me just throw my leg over the saddle and show you some features in front. So when I sit on it, this is how, this is what I see in the dash area. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks really, really good to me. Now there's this interesting feature that I saw with this. I think I've seen it on other bikes, but I don't know which bike I've seen it on before. But if you look at the rear view mirrors, you can adjust them if you have the need. So it has different levels of movement. So if you are going into a tight place or you just want to, or when you drop the bike or something, it's not going to break for you to have the need to replace them. It's just going to move by itself. And then when you're done, whatever, you just push it back. It's very, very stiff. So it's not going to move that easily but that mechanism is there to to prevent damages when you have a crash or you need to move in through move the bike through a tight space and as usual you have your fuel tank very solid lady right here and looking down here the buttons being a cf with a new design concept the hazard button 
very similar design to what's on the 800 MT. You have your ignition on off here. Um, you have your brake fluid reservoir, very big, big um, tank. And on the left hand side, you have the button for turning the ABS on and off. Very, very nicely indicated ABS on and off. And you got your horn, you got your turn signals, very tactile. When you're riding, even when you're holding gloves, you're going to feel it for sure when you, you uh, engage. And you also have these navigation buttons here for navigating on the screen. And yeah, that's about it. And you also have a pass light right here. There's no, there. the bike has traction control, but there is no um, cruise control as it is on the 800 MT. Obviously it's an off-road bike. Now turning on the ignition, let me just show you what the headlights look like. So you have DRLs running down there. So you have your uh, low beam and the down one will be the high beam. So let me try to, so if I go, so that's the high beam. Very, very simple, but very nice looking. And the turn signals, LED as well. And if I just move on, just move on back to the very, very clear, not sure how many inches this is, but it's very, very visible from here. You can see everything very clearly. You have your light indicator engine light, ABS, traction control, like I mentioned before, your neutral light, so your gear indicator over here. And I like how this rev counter has been indicated. Overall, it's really, really nice. These features you found on years ago, you would only find on very premium bikes, but these days, even bikes that cost this much have these features. So that's really, really nice. Everything indicating very, very crisp. I think Honda has Honda the Honda new the new Honda NX 500 NX has a new uh, colored LED screen now, but it's still I don't know it's still not up to what we are getting on even cheaper bikes these days. I think Honda need, really needs to step up the game because you can get bikes way cheaper. Well, we can argue that yes, quality wise Honda might be ahead, but these days it's kind of a close call. Really hard to tell because. Other bikes are giving you all the features that high-end give you for a fraction of the price. So if they're charging that much and they're big players in the game, they should be able to provide some of these things to please their customers. So if you compare this screen to that of the new Honda uh, CB500 NX, that Honda is way behind. But of course, in terms of overall quality, Honda might still have an edge over these ones but yeah and then you have your trip counter here your fuel indicator your water temperature your fuel gauge right there so yeah overall it is a and it tells you your size stand is up so that's um very nice display when you turn it on and off and overall it looks really really good and i'm just seeing here that on the side here you have wow you have a usb-c if it can focus you have usb-c up there and the usb-a so help yourself with whatever cables you have how cool is that you have a usb-a and a usb-c for charging your equipment and you can adjust the mirrors by just turning this I believe with two hands but this will adjust it up and down so that's that's really really nice it's kind of it's a slim bike um, kind of like the Yamaha Yamaha Tenere but I just for some reason it just feels like this one uh, is very nicely made and with KYB Fox, it's gonna it's gonna tackle all the 
look at the suspension travel i don't i don't have the specific figures for this but it has a a very long suspension so i believe suspension travel is going to be really really comfortable especially in the dirt and on b roads which is where this bike belongs so overall it's a very very nice bike um, especially for people who do a lot of off-road and country riding you might want to consider this i know you the there are pictures and videos of this bike on on the internet so uh, you might have seen pictures and videos already but i just wanted to show you uh, what the bike comes with i think it comes with a 400 cc engine which is really really cool so overall this is the cf moto 450 empty from this angle it looks really really nice if you just want an easy bike easy powerful ish motorcycle for maybe commuter commuter plus adventure and on a weekend fun ride you might want to consider this bike because it's very good value for money and now I'm talking about the price. So this bike in Chinese r and I'm located in China. In Chinese r and is about 32,000, just under 32,000 Chinese r and which in US dollars is $4,445 approximately. For $4,000, you can have a 400cc bike that can take you anywhere. So guys, if you are into this kind of adventure riding, what are you waiting for? I think this is a really cool deal. If there's a CF Motor dealership close by, you can go and have a look at it and see if it's a kind of bike that you would want to have in your garage and uh, the kind of bike you would like to purchase for your adventures. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'm truly grateful. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. I have tons of videos on my channel. You can go and uh, enjoy some of the videos that I have there. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace and I'm out.